Green flag, the Coke, the Coke Zero 400 is underway at Daytona for the regular season finale. Matt Devin and did a great start. Right beside Truex Jr., they had an incident at Talladega earlier this year. And they didn't get mad. They had a little talk about it. Benedetto said that he just got on his left rear quarter panel, his right rear quarter panel, and just caused a two-car crash. And as we have amazing views here, Benedetto pushes David Reagan. You see us are almost three wide up at the front. They're doing some pretty aggressive racing up there. There's Kozlowski, Busher sideways. Whoa! Benedetto got loose. And now he looks, looks like he's losing some speed here. Man. Oh, the caution is out. We had a caution. Oh, he had a wreck. Oh, man. What happened? Great save by Busher, but it looks like we had a caution. What happened here? So, oh, man. Bobby Carter just almost turned to Benedetto. The Benedetto got into Bell, and Bell comes back up the racetrack. Oh, man. Creating a pretty big crash. Boyer's in it. Bell's in it. I think Blicky is in it. Oh, man. That collected all of those cars back there. Wow. The big one very early at Daytona. I don't know why. Why did the 73 car really? I mean, the Benedetto. Yeah, the Benedetto held his line. It looks like there he held his line. We're gonna see in slow motion. He's trying to push Chastain. He came up, but then he stayed right there. And Bobby Carter, he just, man, hammered it in there and turned the Benedetto almost into the wall. And almost, that could have caused a pretty big crash. Wow. See it from his camera right here. We've had this camera all year. Yeah, you see, he's trying to save it. Look, he didn't even turn right there. He didn't even turn. He didn't even turn into Bobby Carter. So it looks like Bobby Carter just tried to get through a hole that wasn't there. Man, I don't know why Bobby Carter really tried to do that but man that caused a pretty huge crash he could have got involved in that one and look at least every single car that's over here got involved but look at busher oh some cars on the apron got through quinn health got involved in that he got a little tip of it okay so some cleanup on the track going on we're going to continue seeing replays so Let's just go back all the way to where we're on his onboard camera. So we are on his onboard camera as we are onto the front stretch. And then I just noticed that he went sideways. And then as I look, the caution came out and the pack behind was split. Watch right here. He didn't even turn into Bobby Carter and that's what we saw there. He didn't even turn into Bobby Carter. And what an amazing save by the Benedetto. Look, they're three wide, three wide racing, almost four wide. And the Benedetto didn't want it to go four wide, so he just held his line right here. Exactly like Talladega. Actually, yeah, exactly like Talladega when, uh, um, Turks Jr. got loose, and then that created wreck. And the Benedetto was basically holding his line. 
and it looks like it happened again, and this time at another super speedway, and this is for the playoffs. So, man, can't be way too early. We're on lap two. This is lap two. It's way too early for this. Way too early for Bobby Carter to really do that. You see, it looks like the Benedetto was about to pass Bobby Carter, but then Bobby Carter just straight up turned him. I think uh, Bobby Carter has some right side damage because... He got into the wall when he was turning to Benedetto. Almost, almost created a, a huge wreck. You see, look very closely. He definitely hit the wall there. And it looks like clean up is done. We're coming back to the restart. Coming back to the green flag. And we're... Back again, racing for the Coke Zero Sugar 400 at Daytona. All right, the men did everything pretty good, but on the restart, the leaders, they're side by side. But now it looks like, man, Almarola takes the lead. There's Logano. Man, Almarola has the greatest pusher right behind him there's mike dowell right there there's lajoy up there as well wow we oh we got smoke Haley in the 16 he saves it wow look at amarola going from top lane to bottom lane and there is hamlin right there on the inside and the benedetto coming to the front very quickly as we're on lap six. There is 11 laps in this stage, I'm pretty sure, and man, they're racing really aggressive here. There is a 20 of Eric Jones. Look at this, we got a three car tandem push. Let's hope this doesn't create a, a big, big wreck. What a save by Blaney, almost in front of the Benedetto. That could have caused a pretty big wreck. Lap number seven now. Oh man, Almarola really has to hold off Michael McDowell and others here. Man, look at this aggressive racing. Now it looks like Logano's feet inside of er Eric Almarola. And here's Denny Hamlin, he fell back. He's now in the fifth position, into the fourth position, and here is a possibly a lead change coming here. As we did have a lead change with Logano into the lead, but whoa! Three wide for lead into Benedetto! Might lead his first lap here at Daytona, and yes, he does. Trying to block Joey Logano. Did you see Eric Amarola is now pushing him? Whoa! We got pretty loose there. Back here at Daytona, great racing. Lap nine in the stage. Can the Benedetto, oh, he's in the wall. And they're wrecking. Oh man, no caution. Wow. And now Legato is gonna take the lead. 
Man, as you saw from that backstretch camera view, man, the Benedetto just went straight into the wall, collecting Logano and and Almarola. I think Newman got a piece of that. A piece of that. Two laps to go on the stage. That was wild. Man, I mean, it's just playoff racing, though. Playoff racing, great racing. The Benedetto is now taking back the lead side by side with Elliot. He's trying to hold him off, and it looks like Elliot will now take the lead. But could that have been too early? The Benedetto is getting his draft. But he's right behind Elliot. And Logano trying to get the draft as well. Here comes the Benedetto and white flag one more time around for stage number one. That pass was way too early for Chase Elliott. Now the Benedetto has taken back the lead. I told you that if you pass too early, then I guess I guess you're gonna be done. You won't win the stage. But Elliot, he's a great racer. Wow. The Benedetto blocking. Can you hold him off? Coming off turn number four for the final time. A stage number one. Michael McDowell is in the lead. Coming to the finish line. It's a photo finish. And we're going to see who won the stage. What a finish for stage number one. Look at this view. And it looks like the Benedetto is going to get his get a stage win. I think his first stage win. What a finish. Look at this. Amazing. Amazing. You can see it. You can see how close the finish was. Great finish. Oh, it looks like somebody's been in the grass. Tire marks is on the grass. Somebody must have been in the grass here. Oh, wow, wow. That was an amazing finish for stage one. Look at this. Whoa, it looked like... It looked like that he tried to block. Look at McDowell just trying to block there. As they came off turn four, the Benedetto had the run, and then McDowell just blocked. Ooh. Wow, and it looked like the Benedetto was going to be done because they were in the trioval at that time. And, De Be and uh, Michael McDowell tried to block again. But then the Benedetto had the stage win in his hands. Will he possibly get into the playoffs? He got stage points there. That could get him into the playoffs. Great finish there. Wow. Almost a car length of a finish. Almost. As you see... We're going to see it at full speed. You see, they're in turn three. Now into turn four. Off turn four. Onto the front stretch. And then you see McDowell blocking. Blocking again. Into the triable. The Benedetto wins it. And by how close that finish was, it was a pretty good finish there. What a block by McDowell, though. He really wanted that stage win. He got stage points, though, as well. Look at that. They're three wide right there. Amazing finish. They were really battling. Oh, Hamlin got loose. See right there? He got loose a little bit. But, man. Oh, and then Hamlin... Oh, wow. And look at this. Newman had a great shot of that finish. What a finish. I mean, that was a great photo finish. That, would, that, that was like the end of the race. 
man, if the Benedetto wins today, he's going to get into the playoffs and he'll have a ride next year.